often in development we have looked at uh, our indices and vulnerabilities uh, with a narrow lens. So if you're doing HIV and AIDS, for example, you would like to look at um, some variable that will tell you some level of impact of HIV and AIDS on, on a household. Or if you're interested in agricultural productivity, you're probably just looking at yields and so forth. But uh, what the Household Vulnerability Index or the HVI does is that we try to look at everything together. For each household, we have uh, um, realized that there is internal vulnerability in the sense of how a household exists and what assets it has, for example. Uh, but there's also an external component of vulnerability. So the HVI is basically a statistical uh, measure that says if you have a shock, be it poverty, HIV, AIDS, whatever it is, impacting on a household, uh, that in its setting has its own resources, how does it fare? The Household Vulnerability Index looks at five assets that are available to a household. We look at um, natural assets such as uh, soils, uh, the quality of soils that exist, uh, rainfall patterns, the region that a household funds itself in. That's the first asset capital that we look at. Then we look at physical capital assets as well, which include livestock implements you use for productivity and so forth. And we also look at uh, the third type of asset, which is what most people look at, which are incomes or financial assets, how much money is flowing into the household and out of the household and, and so forth. Uh, so that also gives us an idea of how uh, liquid the household would be. And then the fourth uh, asset we look at is something that also is looked at quite often, which is the human capital asset. Uh, we look at this because we want to see how many able-bodied people are in a household, how many dependents are there, how well uh, the household is actually able to use its human resources to be productive, to produce as far as agriculture is concerned, but most importantly as far as livelihoods, viabilities are concerned. The last asset we look at, and specifically for Africa this is important, is to do with the social capital because you will realize that uh, you may have an independent household, but the way it intersects with its community, with its extended family and so forth, actually also says a lot about how viable or vulnerable it could be. With the Household Vulnerability Index, it will probably tell you that you need to understand everything that is happening in the household before you actually decide on which household is needs. In one community, for example, uh, we have an integrated uh, response program that will look at agricultural productivity, uh, but uh, also uh, looking at a graduation system. You will have community members who will really need food aid for a while and you have community members who probably need to work uh, to actually be given food because they have human capital uh, so they can work for their food and the, then you also have community members who would like to work for inputs for example because they have human capital they probably need their, they have their food uh, requirements as well what they need is actually to prepare for the next planting season The way we implement the HVI is, is very empowering for the communities. The communities now actually realize what they do have and in how much amounts and what they don't have and in how much amounts, which means that uh, the local authorities and the communities themselves are actually going to be able to hold accountable program implementers in terms of what they can do and meaningfully change something within their communities.